Hi everybody, there are numerous videos on YouTube which show how to model a golf ball. But I think I found yet another method to do it which is very, very fast and very straightforward. So let's start. I start with a sphere and I select tessellation with a subdivision level of 6. I tried several things before uh, but this is the closest to a real regular US golf ball which has 336 dimples. This one has a bit more but uh, it's not very much and I don't think it really matters. So a real golf ball has a uh, a di diameter of 42.67 millimeters so let's make a radius of 22 and that's close enough for our purpose and hit the apply key. Now I have to turn on wireframe go to, ver uh, to uh, edge mode rather select all these edges go to select Assign selection set, give it the name like temp, drop the tool, now go to polygon mode and hit the D key once. Go back to edge mode, go to the lists tab here, uh, expand edges by selection set and click on the plus of our temp and hit the backspace key to delete everything. Now go back to poly mode by hitting the 3 key, select all the polygons, hit the B key for bevel with uh, group polygons unchecked. <clears throat> now click in the viewport, take the red handle and bevel this in about 0.6 millimeters, shift click again, bevel it in again about the same, 0.6. Now take the blue handle and bring it down maybe minus 0.5, drop the tool, deselect everything, hit the tab key to go to sub D mode we can get rid of the grid and we can get rid of the wireframe and here it is our pretty realistic golf ball. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, take care. Have fun modeling with Modo. I will leave this picture on for a while to make sure I can select it as the thumbnail when I upload it to YouTube. Bye bye again, take care and thanks for watching. See you.